hello everyone welcome back to my channel <laughs> today i am doing a q a and i have a special guest with me summer so this is my doggy and i figured since i am just doing a little q a related to school site questions and grad school i might as well just sit with her and, and pet her she'll probably keep looking this way i don't know what she sees <laughs> She says something, but she's like staring at the floor. Anyway, on my Instagram, I asked some people if they have any questions specifically related to school psychology and grad school and there's not too many so this video shouldn't be super long i wrote them all down don't judge me oh my gosh hello <laughs> i wrote them all down so i'm just gonna start with the first one which is oh and i will put them down below um the timestamps in case you want to see what they are and get right to the answer for that. So the first question is, would you ever go for your doctor's degree? So before I was in grad school, I really thought, okay, I'm getting a PhD. Like there's no way around it. That's exactly what I want to do. And after getting my master's, I do not see myself getting my doctorate at all unless I have to, like if some changes happen and they're like, oh, in order to keep doing your job, then you have to. Or if I somehow get really sick of working in the school and want a different environment, like being a professor or getting into research. But at this moment, I do not see that happening at all. The next question, what can you do with the master's versus if you do have a PhD? So I think I slightly answered that. So basically, if you have the master's degree, then you can work in the school. And if you have the PhD, you can work in a variety of places. I actually, um, I might have made a video already, or I'm going to, on the difference between the master's and the PhD. The next question is how long is the schooling? So I guess how long did it take for um, my master's program? So it's two years in getting your master's then you have one extra year where your internship is and everything. And that is where you get your EDS, your education specialist. That's what you get to be able to practice as a school psychologist. So altogether, if you're doing your master's, it's three years. Obviously, if I was doing a PhD, it would be longer. But for me, altogether, it was three years. And that was going full time. If I went part time, it also would have been longer. The fourth one, is it difficult to find a job? So I didn't find it hard to find a job, but it really depends. So there's a lot of openings and there's a shortage, but the thing is with COVID, I don't know if that messed it up because there are some people in my program that had difficulty finding a job, but I wanted it in Virginia. So I had applied in March and then that's when I got the job. So I didn't have a hard time, I got it pretty much right away, but that doesn't mean that someone else might not have a difficult time, especially in this climate, like who knows, especially with budgeting and everything for the schools. So I think it really depends, but it's not as competitive as other jobs. So are counselors and school psychologists the same thing? No, they are not, they are very different. And for school psychologists, we do a variety of things such as testing students, that's not the only thing. We consult with teachers, we do IEPs, we try to make sure that the student is getting the best possible education that they can and with any supports in place that they may need. <laughs> Um, and actually, I think I have a video on that too, all the things that we do. So check that video out as well. So then you can find out how many things we do in our job. Am I happy with my decision to go to grad school and be a school psychologist? I am very happy for so many reasons. Even when I wanted to do a PhD, I wanted to be a professor, but I wanted to be a professor so that I can help 
students. And guess what? I'm still helping students. I'm helping them before college. <laughs> and there's just so many benefits to the job along with that. So I am definitely happy that I found it because like I said many times before, I never knew a school psychologist was even a job option. And when I read about it, I just knew that was a fit for me and being an internship and all of that just made me feel like I made the right decision. So I'm very happy with that choice. Is grad school hard? So it's not that it's hard. Like I didn't find it difficult. What I found is that it's just very, very draining. It takes a lot of your time. It takes all of your energy. You don't have any money. And I think that's what would make it hard. In terms of the schoolwork, it wasn't difficult school, especially if you majored in psychology, you kind of get the background information and then you have like your developmental psychology and all of that. The most difficult part was trying to have time and making sure that you have time for everything because it takes all your time. It's a full-time job that you don't get paid for and it doesn't stop. Like you're not nine to five. You're like, okay, I might have a two hour class, but then I also have to work on the weekends because you have homework and tests. It's just a lot, a lot of work. So if you're going to grad school, be prepared for all the work. So the next one kind of goes along with this. It's how expensive is grad school and did it take a lot of your time? So like I just said, it takes so much of your time. And grad school is pretty expensive. Um, obviously it depends what program you're in and if you have any scholarships or if you have loans and if you're living at home, who you have to support. So the price depends on that. But I found compared to undergrad, it was very expensive, like three times the amount of how much it costs for me to go to undergrad was how much it costs for grad school. And the last question, what made me choose school psychology? So I just did my own search online when I was in between like, oh, I didn't get a PhD, but I really wanna go to grad school. What can I do? And then I found school psychology, did my own research, and I was like, okay, this sounds like it's for me got accepted into a program, went to the program, and then they give you kind of the intro to everything when you first get in. So that's when it settled like, okay, I think this is right for me. And then obviously the more I learned, the more I loved it. So that's how I chose it, through my own research. And it worked out. So honestly, depending on your major, if you're not sure what you wanna do, or you think you know, but it's just not happening, then, do your research and you might find something that you didn't know about and that could be for you. So yeah. All right, everyone, that's all the questions I have for today. If you like this, I can do more Q and A's. Obviously this one was related to school psych and grad school, but maybe in the future I could do one about me if you guys wanna know more information. But yeah, until then, I will see you next time. And my dog has just been in a whole other world looking all over the place. <laughs> but honestly, being in grad school, she helped relieve so much of the stress. Like coming back from classes and then seeing her just made everything so much better. So if you can, I suggest also getting a pet and going to grad school. <laughs> but all right, everyone, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.